All right, real quick, I wanted to do an addendum to my last uh, tutorial. After taking a look at it again, I found a better way to create this metallic effect. So let me take you through it really, really quick. And I think you'll like this a lot better than the last one. We'll go to File, New, 1920 by 1080. We're going to place that same picture that we had before. And we're just going to put her right up there in the middle, drag her over, and rasterize and trim her real quick. We're going to duplicate it, Command-J. Let's take that top one, add in a black and white effect. And on this one, what I did is I took the red all the way up, took the yellow up, took the blue up. And when I took the blue up, it actually took some of the color out of her eyes. I thought that was pretty good. Actually, everything got increased here. All right, so we'll accept that, drag it down onto our picture, rasterize and trim. Then again, we're going to add in our gradient map and starting off with black. Then we'll insert a couple of nodes there, space them out. We'll make this one a darker yellow, make this one a brighter yellow, make this one a slightly darker yellow again, and we'll make this last one white. And then we'll kind of space these out a little bit. So then what I did here next as I drag that down onto our image, and then we're just going to duplicate that gradient map layer, Command J, and we're going to change the blend mode on that one to color burn, like that. So that definitely gives us much more goal there. So then what I did that was different before I tried to do the threshold move, and I found a better way to do it. So let's take the color picture and bring it up over the top. We're going to add in our HSL adjustment on this one, and we're going to take all the saturation out of it. Make it black and white like that and we'll drag that onto that layer and then we'll rasterize and trim it and then what we're going to do is we're going to come up to filters and we're going to come down to sharpen and we're going to select high pass and you can see with this we're just barely going to play around with the radius on this to where we can bring out those lines that we want right about there we'll apply that now we're going to go ahead and instead of inverting this layer, we can just come over to the uh, blending mode and we're going to come down here to reflect. And by changing the amount of opacity on this, we get a much better, like if you look down here on the skirt here, a much more metallic look than we had before. Harsher, brighter, and again, you can play with the sliders a little bit on this to kind of fix the things in the face here, but it definitely creates more of a metal effect. Anyway, really quick one, just wanted to throw that back up there. If there's ever any questions that I think I can do it better, I will. On this one, you'll also notice that even on this stethoscope down here, this got changed to gold, where I believe on the other picture, it was still black. So there you go. Peace. Talk to you later. Bye.